Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to pronounce this word and some very easy rules to follow to know when we pronounce it the different ways. Before we get started though, if you're interested in improving your British accent and pronunciation, then I do post videos about this every single Friday each week. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon as well to receive a notification every time I post a new video or I go live. Make sure you also stay until the very end of the video because I am going to be talking about a huge mistake that students make and I've also seen that quite a few videos on YouTube miss it out as well. I'm not throwing any shade but yeah it's really important so do stay until the end. So let's start with the first rule. The first way to pronounce this is with the, with this E vowel, what I call the smiley E. Okay, remember we've done the sad E and the smiley E. This one is with the smiley E. V, V. Make sure you also get that TH as well. It is a voice TH sound, so your tongue goes in between your teeth. When we're speaking quite quickly though, sometimes we don't put the tongue in between the teeth, we maybe just touch behind the top teeth. So it sounds something like the, the. But be careful not to press too hard, otherwise it's going to sound like B, and that's not right. So we use the pronunciation V when the next word starts with a vowel sound, not a vowel letter, a vowel sound. Okay, I will talk about why this is important later, because some people don't tend to differentiate between these two. Sound here is incredibly important. Let's have a look at this short example here. We have the end, the end end. End starts with a vowel sound and luckily a vowel letter as well that makes life a little bit easier. So because end starts with a vowel sound we pronounce T-H-E as V and you'll notice that when I say it quite quickly I join them together as well with a Y sound. Now you'll see here that the symbol to represent this sound is a J. Don't confuse this it is not a J sound that I'm making here it is a Y as in for example yes or yellow. So here I've got the V and then I have end and I link them together with a Y. The end. The end. The second way that we can pronounce this word is the. The. So that TH stays the same, the, the, but the vowel changes. This time we don't have the smiley E, we have a schwa, which is incredibly relaxed. I do have a video about the schwa, if you want to look at that in more detail, I'll put a card up here, and I'll also link it down in the description as well. So be careful here, don't stress this, uh, the, the. Notice that I'm not really moving my mouth that much with that vowel, the, the. Now we use the, when the next word starts with a consonant sound. For example, the park, the park. This time there's no linking because although we have a vowel sound at the end of the first word, we start the next one with a consonant. And I will be talking about vowel-vowel linking in the future, but not in this video. I just want to keep it focused on the the, the <laughs> pronunciation. Now, in cases where we really want to emphasize something and say that something is the best, we, instead of saying the best, this is the best book I've ever read, we would say this is the best book I've ever read. So you're really, really emphasizing something. It's not just the best, it is the best. It's better than the best, if that makes any sense. So in some cases we do break the rules and we do use the even when we should use the. Now it's time for some sentences so you can listen and practice and repeat after me. Are you ready? He walked to the end of the park. He walked to the end of the park. Make sure you get that linking, the end. He walked to the end of the park. And another example, the film was better than the other one. The film was better than the other, the linking, the other one. The film was better than the other one. 
Now before I finish, like I said earlier, with the importance of focusing on vowel sounds and not the spellings, I see this happen quite a lot. Let's take for example the phrase the European Union. Okay, notice I say the European. European, although it starts with an E, the letter E, notice that sound. Y, European, European. It doesn't start with a vowel sound, does it? It starts with a Y, Y. So here I don't say the European, but the European, the European Union. So be very, very careful with that. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single Friday if you're interested in improving your British accent and pronunciation. If you've enjoyed this video, then also give it a thumbs up. I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week, guys. Bye-bye. I have the end. End starts with end. <laughs> I will put a card up here somewhere if you want to watch that. I'll link it in the, 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 the way that we've... Emma.